The human gut can be the scene for devastating conditions such as inflammatory bowel disease, which arises through an improperly controlled immune response. The gut is often the body's first point of contact with microbes. Every mouthful of food is accompanied by a cargo of microorganisms that go on to encounter the mucosa, the innermost layer of the gut. Most microbes are destroyed by the harsh, acidic environment in the stomach, but a hardy few make it through to the intestine. The intestinal surface is covered with finger-like protrusions called villi, whose primary function is the absorption of nutrients. However, these structures and the underlying tissues also host the body's largest population of immune cells. Scattered along the intestinal mucosa are dome-like structures called Peyer's patches. These are enriched in lymphoid tissue, making them key sites for coordinating immune responses to pathogens whilst promoting tolerance to harmless microbes and food. The villi contain a network of blood vessels to transport nutrients from food to the rest of the body. Lymphatics from both the Peyer's patches and villi drain into the mesenteric lymph node. Within the villi is a network of loose connective tissue called the lamina propria, and at the base of the villi are the crypts, which host stem cells that replenish the epithelium. Finally, the epithelium, together with its thick overlying mucus, forms an important barrier against microbial invasion. Embedded within the matrix of the Peyer's patch is a mix of immune cells including T and B lymphocytes, macrophages and dendritic cells. A key function of the Peyer's patch is the sampling of antigens, in this case mostly bacteria and bits of food. To facilitate this, the Peyer's patch has a much thinner mucus layer as well as specialised phagocytic cells called M cells, which can transport material across the epithelial barrier via a process called transcytosis. Finally, dendritic cells are able to extend dendrites between epithelial cells to sample antigens that are then broken down and used for presenting to lymphocytes. Sampling antigens in this way typically results in so-called tolerogenic activation, where the immune system initiates an anti-inflammatory response. With their cargo of antigen, these dendritic cells then traffic to the T-cell zones of the Peyer's patch. Upon encounter with specific T cells, the dendritic cells convert them into an immunomodulatory cell called a regulatory T cell or Treg. Defects in the function of these cells are associated with inflammatory bowel disease in both animals and humans. These Tregs then migrate to the lamina propria of the villi via the lymphatics. Here, the Tregs secrete a molecule called IL-10, which exerts a suppressive action on immune cells within the lamina propria and upon the epithelial layer itself. IL-10 is therefore critical in maintaining immune quiescence and preventing unnecessary inflammation. However, a breakdown in this process of immune homeostasis results in gut pathology, and when this occurs over a prolonged period and in an uncontrolled manner, it can lead to inflammatory bowel disease. Chemical, mechanical or pathogen-triggered barrier disruption coupled with particular genetic susceptibilities may all combine to set off inflammation. Epithelium coming into contact with bacteria is activated, leading to bacterial influx. Alarm molecules released by the epithelium activate immune cells and Tregs in the vicinity scale down their IL-10 secretion to enable an immune response to proceed. Dendritic cells are also activated by this environment and start to release key inflammatory molecules such as IL-6, IL-12 and IL-23. Effector T cells also appear on the scene and these coordinate an escalation of the immune response by secreting their own inflammatory molecules, tumor necrosis factor alpha, interferon gamma and IL-17. Soon after the effector T cells have arrived, a voracious phagocyte called a neutrophil is recruited. Neutrophils are critical for the clearance of bacteria. One weapon in the neutrophil armory is the ability to undergo a dramatic form of self-destruction called netosis. This leaves behind a jumble of DNA saturated with enzymes called a neutrophil extracellular trap. Although this can effectively destroy bacterial invaders and plug any breaches in the epithelial wall, it also causes collateral damage to tissues. Slowly the tide begins to turn and the bacterial invasion is repulsed. 
any remaining neutrophils die off via apoptosis, a non-inflammatory form of cell death, and are cleared by macrophages. Epithelial integrity is restored by replacement of any damaged cells with new ones from the intestinal crypts. Finally, Tregs are recruited once again to calm the immune response. Targeting the molecules involved in gut pathology is leading to effective therapies for inflammatory bowel disease.